time we're having tea. <sighs> hey guys, ooh, woo, let's do that one again. Hey guys, 420 scene here. Hope everyone's having themselves a super stony day. Let me know what you're talking on and where you're watching the video from. I always like to know. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and if you want access to all my secret, unlisted grow and smoke videos, check us out on Patreon. I'm gonna have the link in the upper right hand corner over here. Today we're gonna be covering an interesting topic, one that somebody from our community asked, and it's something a lot of people kind of seem to be misinformed about. And Robert Miller asked, what week of flowers should the fade really kick in and how long does it last? Also, before I forget all you punk rockers out there, be sure to check out my music channel called Punk Scene. We upload either every Sunday or every other Sunday. We just finished and uploaded the rock version of Taylor Swift's Anti-Hero. And uh, yeah, I, I know what you're thinking. Taylor Swift, what the fuck? It actually came out really good, so totally check it out. Back to our scheduled programming. <laughs> What Robert is referring to is the nitrogen fade out that happens during the flowering stage and it doesn't always happen, but it will happen sometimes. So if you're starting to get yellowing around week four of flowering and beyond that, I mean, it's pretty normal, but you have to make sure that it actually is a nitrogen fade out and you know, not to get confused with light burn, which does bleach out and make your leaves kind of yellow. And, but there's a difference though. There's a difference between light burn and you can noticeably tell the difference. With light burn, it's only gonna be affecting the upper tier of your leaves. Whereas, you know, if it's a nitrogen fade out, you're gonna get that fade out all around. That Jersey accent though, right? Didn't that just come out all around? Like for example, sidebar conversation. I pulled down my light a little closer just to see where the sweet spot was, like what it was gonna be for the ES300. And some of my leaves, they did get a little bleach action, but don't worry, I documented it. So off topic, anybody that has an electric sky ES300, 21 inches is the magic number. Like anything above, 21 inches is not gonna give you light burn, but 21 inches and lower will give you light burn. I'm sure people on Reddit absolutely love me or whatever forums love trashing me and saying I can't grow, but, but, if you're experimenting and finding out certain data, like if it's light distance for a specific light, because not every light is gonna be the same, it's called research and development. But anyway, back to Robert's question, I mean, it really depends on what week your nitrogen fade out is happening. And there are a lot of variables involved. This isn't just like, uh, you know, one size fits all kind of deal. You know, there's not one right answer. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot of different variables. And the first thing is like, for example, are you running autos or photos? Because if you're running autos, depending on when they switch over to the flowering stage, it also depends on, you know, when you have to top dress again. It's gonna fall under a different week every time. I'm gonna give you a couple examples so you can kind of think about it for a little bit. Let's just say that you're running an auto. And yeah, you know, you're gonna be mixing your soil with the all-purpose guy green, because, you know, that's what you're going to do when you start, you know, you're not gonna give him power bloom. I'll kind of try to make this easy. I'm using guy green as an example since, I mean, it's pretty easy to understand and I'm using it anyway. So like four weeks later, you have to top dress again, but you're still planning on staying in veg because you don't see any signs of flowering yet. So you give them that all purpose again. Now the next week they flip over into the flowering stage. So at this point, after five weeks, you just started getting into the flowering stage. Well, you can't do anything because you already top dressed the week before. What are you gonna do, top dress another week? You gotta wait a whole month, bro. But hey, you got options. Not very good options, but you got options. You can always flush your amendments out, but that's pretty counterproductive. You know, guy is not, I mean, it's, it's cheap, but it's not that cheap, you know what I'm saying? So you're gonna have to wait about three more weeks until you give them that power bloom because you're already one week in, right? That power bloom 284. So if you're in this kind of a situation, you already have that all purpose for the first three weeks of flowering. So you're more than likely not gonna be getting a fade until week seven if the, actually, you're probably not even gonna get a fade out at that point. Now let's use another example. Let's just say that this time you're running photos. You have a lot more control. So let's just say that you're using all purpose again and you're starting your run. You're mixing it into your soil right we all know that that's the way it goes four weeks later you have to top dress and if you plan on staying in veg for another four weeks then you would give them that all-purpose that would run them into week eight and then you know that's when you would top dress with you know the power bloom 284 at this point you're already going to be cutting off that nitrogen supply at the start of flowering you know it's not like in the first example where you still have all purpose in your soil for the next three weeks or so you know what i mean so that's why i wanted to use those examples to let you know that if the nitrogen fade out does happen don't freak out and if it's really that big of a problem to you you can always add some worm castings or even some coffee grounds just sprinkle it on the top soil just to keep up with the green color if that's super important to you. My opinion, 
I don't really care for a nitrogen fade out. Like if it happens, you know, it happens as long as it's not before week four. Like even if I were to start getting that nitrogen fade out during week four, like legit week four of flowering, it's not really that big of a deal because they're more focused on the phosphorus, potassium, and magnesium intake. Hence why Power Bloom is 284 and not 444, you know, kind of like the all-purpose. Same goes for if you're trying to come, it's not even just Gaia Green, like I'm just using Gaia Green as an example. Same goes with Down the Earth. You got that, well, they got the rose and flower mix. I'm not, I'm not really sure, I'm not using it right now. I don't have the box in front of me, but I think it's got like, I think it's close to 284. Let me know in the comment section what rose and flower mix is. My point is it's gonna have a lot less of a ratio than the all-purpose would. I feel like the big problem that everybody has is even during the middle or like the late part of flowering, it almost seems like people don't know whether to focus on those nice big flowers or the leaves themselves. It's crazy though, because like even using me as an example, all you Patreon members already saw my ladies, genetical makeup also has to play a role, at least I think it does because like even for me, I have two apple baddies, but the way they started out as far as the coloring of the leaves, they all got the exact same thing. They are completely different. Like I have one, I'm sure some of you guys have seen my apple betty. One of them was like super green during the vegetative stage and even right now in week five of flowering they're still green but the other one I have is it's yellowing out but they got I mean they got some, some nice colas you know what I mean especially for being in five gallon containers of course you guys will totally be able to check it out if you stick around for the bean the harvest video that I have coming out when this run is over or you can just become a VIP on patreon that works so hopefully I answered Robert's question I thought it was a really good question one that I felt like I needed to cover a topic on this and you know, some people were asking me, you know, what happened? You know, the, the one, you know, app, the one Apple Betty looks really green. What happened to the other one? I, I gave them the same thing. I feel like there's got to be genetical makeup's got to play some kind of role because I feel like all ladies don't feed the same amount, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I hope I answered Robert's question that there's not one week in particular where you're gonna be getting that nitrogen fade out. It really depends on a lot of different circumstances, whether you're running autos, and I'm not saying all autos are gonna be going up until week five. Hey, you could get it that week three or week four, and then you're gonna get that nitrogen fade out anyway. So it really, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of different circumstances you gotta look at. So whether you're running autos or maybe you ran out of room and you gotta switch over into the flowering stage, to, I don't know, account to that final stretch and you can't give them something like the Power Bloom or even down the earth rose and flower mix. But if you get a nitrogen fade out, I don't think it's really that big of a deal unless you get it early on in the flowering stage. Then I would wanna supplement that with maybe throwing some coffee grounds or worm castings on the top soil just to maintain that green color like I mentioned earlier on in the video. Also, this brings us towards the end of the video and I don't really wanna end the video yet because kinda wanna make a little bit of an announcement. I've been seeing people arguing with each other in the comment section a little bit more lately than, I don't know, maybe even a couple months ago. And I want everybody, honestly, to just take a step back and realize that we're all human. That learns things at a much different pace. We're not all, you know what I mean? We're not all learning at the same way. So even me, there are things that I, I don't know about. You know, I never made it like I know everything about this. I'm just a guy that likes making videos and entertaining you guys while helping you guys out the best way I can. I know some of you think that some of my information might be spotty, but the information that I give you is based on my own experiences. I can't help what I've experienced from my own runs that I'm passing on to you guys. You know, some people might think it's bad information, but it's not, it's just stuff that I've learned and wanna share with you guys. But let's just say somebody in the comments section asks what somebody might perceive as a stupid question. Just answer the question, you know what I mean? Don't be a dick about it. I haven't been too active in the comment section lately. My, my wife's actually taken over my comment section. So if you get a response from me, it's most likely my wife. Sometimes it'll be, it could be either me or my wife, you know, so, because. I have so much on my plate, you know, I, I can't get through every, all the comments sometimes. I know springtime is coming up. Everybody is super excited getting a new run under the belt. That's why I wanted to make this video and even talk about this towards the end. We wanna keep people motivated doing this. So please just be nice to everyone, you know what I mean? There's already enough people spreading hate in the community. Let's try to keep everything chill. You know, I know some people have a problem when I delete certain comments in the comment section, but I look at it this way. Let's just say I'm new and I'm watching a video when I look at the comment section, everybody's being mean to each other and 
I don't know about you guys, but if I see stuff like that, all that negativity, I'm running, I'm running the other way, bro. So let's try to keep this as much of a positive community as we can. And we do have a lot of great people in here watching the videos and commenting every week. Like I really do appreciate that. I kind of just want to keep it that way. Also, if you made it this far into the video, I want everybody in the comment section to just type in GoPro. I want that to be like a legit comment. I want to see who made it this far into the video. I love doing this. I, I don't even know why. Like everybody's always like, you know, why does everybody keep saying GoPro or Blueberry? I think it's pretty funny. So before we close out today's video, I want to thank everyone on screen who's been supporting me on Patreon. It really means a lot to me. You know what I mean? Like all the love and support you guys have been showing me, you guys are hella rad. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Turn on that post notification bell so you miss out on any future videos. And I hope everybody has a great rest of their day. We won't be uploading on Sunday just because I have a lot of stuff already going on with school this week but we are going to be back on tuesday so don't worry if we don't upload on sunday just know it's because i'm backed up with school or other projects that i'm doing but i will see you guys on tuesday and you already know the drill as always stay safe peace